Snowbees, welcome back to another DIY Wednesday and today I am going to show you guys how to make these decorative pillows. Combines two of my most favorite things right now, sewing and home decor. You guys know that I am in my new studio right now so I'm still trying to decorate it a little bit more and I'm still trying to add more stuff to it before I do a full on tour. So when I do do a tour, I can link you guys to videos of things that I've made. Also, if you guys haven't checked out my last video where I show you 50 random things, those are actually 50 things that are in my office that I think is really cool and I just wanted to share with you guys and if you guys think it's cool too then y'all know where to get it because I've linked everything down there for you guys as well. I actually saw this one over at Target and I think it was $27 maybe $35 and I thought no I have white fabric at home and have a ton of floss that I haven't been using and I just thought this is the perfect project for it and then I decided to make the second pillow because why not I'm giving you guys some options here. As a girl we need options and that's the reason why we overpack on our vacation. So we're gonna go ahead and get our thread and scissors ready and let's start DIYing. Okay, Sloby Nation, I'm going to start out with some fabric and this is just a white cotton twill, nothing fancy pantsy. The first piece I'm going to cut out is 24 inches by 24 inches. Now the two back pieces are going to be 24 inches by 15 inches. Okay, so taking one of the back pieces, you're going to fold in half an inch and you're going to sew straight across. Now you're going to take the other piece and you're going to repeat the same thing on one side. Just fold it in half an inch and also sew that straight across. Okay, now you're going to take the front piece, make sure that the right side is facing up. And then you're going to take the two back pieces, having the right sides facing down. And also the folded edges that you just sewn earlier, it's going to be facing the middle of the pillow. And the two pieces are going to overlap because it's going to be an envelope case. Now all you have to do is simply sew all the way around the pillowcase. Okay, once you're done with that, go ahead and snip the corners so that it relieves the bulk when you flip it inside out. Alright, let's get to the tedious part. You're all ready for this? Go ahead and grab a needle and some floss. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to push it through one of the corners of the pillowcase. Going backwards about half an inch, go ahead and push through again one more time. At that same point, go ahead and pull the needle through one more time. You're going to wrap the floss around the edge and then push the needle through from the back towards the front one more time at the same point. So this is going to be the start of our blanket stitch and now you're going to move down and in about half an inch and you're going to push the needle through to the back. Before you pull the thread completely through, go ahead and pull the needle through the loop and then finally pull it tight. And there you go, there's your second blanket stitch. So now we're gonna move on to the third one, similar thing, move down and in half an inch and push the needle through to the back. Make sure you're not pulling it too tight because you wanna place the needle through the loop and just completely pull through. And yeah, you just repeat those steps going all the way down and around the pillow and this way it creates a really cute little embroidery stitch at the edge of your pillow. Moving on to the second most tedious thing about this, you're going to need a lot of floss and a lot of different fun colors. So here's my tassel maker. This is a cardboard cutout. And um, yeah, what I'm gonna do is I am going to wrap the floss all the way around lengthwise a couple of times, maybe 16 times or so. And then I take the floss off of the cardboard. I cut through one side of the loop and then I just tie up the end. And then you have your magical tassel making elves make a bunch of these and look how fun and pretty they are ah okay so to put this together i'm going to use some floss that is the same color as my pillowcase the first stitch is going to be pulled through from a corner of the pillow and then i feed a tassel onto my needle and now i just tie a quick simple knot so this way the tassel would stay in place and it doesn't move around on the pillowcase for the second tassel, I'm just going to feed the needle through the edge and then I'm going to push out on one of the stitches. And then I just feed another tassel onto the needle. And now I'm going to move on to the third tassel and I just place a tassel on every other blanket stitch. And lastly, you're going to go ahead and stuff your pillowcase with an actual pillow. And this is just an Ikea one and the measurements are 20 inches by 20 inches. And ta-da! A cute and quirky pillow that adds a little bit of color without being too overwhelming in your home decor. 
Okay, let's go ahead and move on to the second pillow. Now you're gonna need, of course, more floss for this. The first thing I did is I cut out a small strand and I just tie the very top of the bunch of floss. Then I move about half an inch away from that first knot and I tie another knot to that. Moving down another half an inch, I'm gonna tie a third knot. So you guys see the trend here, just keep moving down half an inch and tie on another piece of string tightly until you reach the end of the floss. Now go through and snip off all of the excess string that's sticking out. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm cutting open the loops on both ends. So here's an awesome trick. You're gonna go ahead and cut right in between each one of those knots that you had tied earlier. And then you're gonna end up with these things, which I kinda think they look like little bows. And go ahead and take one of them and just push right in the center on both ends and it would create these tiny little pom-poms. And just like the tassels, you're going to need the pom-pom elves to help you make the rest of these. And actually they kinda look like little chrysanthemums, don't they? So with the front piece of my pillow, I am going to go ahead and mark on the underside where I want all the pom-poms to be. With the wrong side still facing you, go ahead and make a stitch. Now don't pull completely through because on the right side, there will be a loop that's left over and you are going to just squeeze the pom-pom through it and pull really tightly on the string to secure and go ahead and finish it off by double knotting it. So now, wherever you've made a mark on your pillow, just add on another pom-pom until you're completely finished. Once you're done, just quickly snip off all the excess thread to clean it up a little bit. And once you're done, it's gonna look something like this. And because I'm type A, everything had to be really nicely spaced out and aligned. And yeah, it took forever, but at least it looks good. Now, following the first pillow, I'm just gonna go ahead and place the back pieces right sides together, and I sew all the way around. Flip that bad boy inside out, stuff it with the pillow, and this is what it would look like. How cute, right? I hope you all like the DIY, and remember, if you're gonna try this out, be sure to send a photo to any one of my socials with the hashtag S-L-O-A-B-N. And of course, if you like this video, be sure to like it down below, share it with everyone that you know, and to show me that you love me and support me, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. And of course, nothing makes me more happy than to see you take my project and totally learning with it. Also, by the way, this thing right here, I have carpal tunnel, and my carpal tunnel decided to come back, and so now I have to wear this thing for the next couple of weeks while I sleep and while I edit my videos and junk like that which kind of sucks because a DIYer kind of needs their hands so trust me this is not a fashion statement by any means even though I wish it was and maybe I can make something a little bit more handsome looking but for now this is what I have on my right wrist and any of you guys who do also have carpal tunnel and if you know of any way to alleviate the pain please leave your advices down below because if my hands don't work y'all don't get any videos is that a threat it might be. You guys know what to do next on my channel. Remember, I love you guys. And remember to rock on slowbies. Bye.